43-year-old Nigerian entrepreneur Basil Onigo is one of the foreign nationals who saw his once thriving business reduced to ashes after rioters looted shops, burned tires and blocked road junctions last week in South Africa's commercial capital, Johannesburg. Onigbo founded the Rabba Rabba Auto Space in Malvern, Johannesburg, after years of working odd jobs to support his family. We didn't come to the shop on Sunday because I was scared. On Sunday, I never come to the shop because I was very scared. You see, even my fellow colleagues, they never come to the shop. Then on Monday, we come here. We see that all is damaged. They burned the shop on Sunday. Then in the afternoon again, in the afternoon on Sunday, they went upstairs again and put it on, put another fire again to see how heartless somebody is. You burn this place, it's not enough for you. You still go back again in the following day evening, burn the place again, put out more fire. You understand? Show me the love. Tell me how does love and goes in there. There's no brotherly who love there. We are all one Africa. We are all the same. We are the same blood. We are not, I'm not even, maybe I'm saying, you can say that maybe I'm a white man or this. No, we are the same blood of, of Africa, you see? Police were unable to say what had triggered the violence, although unemployment at close to 30%, widespread poverty and income disparities have all been blamed for recent disturbances and attacks on immigrants. Last week, hundreds of protesters in the administrative capital, Pretoria, set fire to buildings, looted mostly foreign-owned businesses and clashed with police. South African government officials have up to now largely blamed the attack on criminals, but the foreign minister acknowledged some of it was being driven by Afrophobia, resentment of other Africans living and working there. As Onigwa tries to piece his life together, he wonders what happened to a nation that once received so much support during the apartheid era. Onigwa remembers when his father contributed to what was known as the Southern Africa Relief Fund, a program providing direct financial aid to the now ruling African National Congress. Home, back home, going to school. My father, my father paid for school, paid for South African apartheid for me. He paid for me. We paid it in the school. We paid it in the school because I can still remember during the time of regime of uh, uh, President, uh, President Babangida, Ibrahim Babangida, he was the president then. He paid it in the school. My father paid it. They say, yeah, our brothers in South Africa, they are crying, they are suffering, that we have to pay this money. So every, every primary school, every secondary school pay that money. Ask anybody, I paid that money. The xenophobic attacks have claimed at least 10 lives, two of which were immigrants, as well as businesses owned by foreign nationals. Over 400 people have been arrested in connection to the violence.